Hello, my friends. John LaRufa here with another Unbiased Unboxing. In this episode, we're getting a hernia. I mean, we're going to take a look at Mosaic, A Story of Civilization. We're going to look at the Sphinx Edition. This thing's got to be 15 pounds at least. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got in here. As usual, folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. So the box art looks cool. I like the way it looks. Definitely has that old world feel to it. When we look at the other side of it, it shows exactly what I'd hope to see. You get the game board. You see components. You see wonder tiles, etc. Everything nice and well displayed. You don't see some of the player boards and such, but this is pretty good. And then it tells you about the game. What, um, you know, just some attributes, those sorts of things. So that's cool. Uh, warning, I mean, it doesn't even fit in the box already, so we'll see what happens. I uh, <laughs> I don't know how it's going to fit when we actually get it all there and try to put it in. Uh, regardless, though, let's take a look. So I picked this up at my friendly local game store. They happen to have the Sphinx edition, so that's the one I got. And I did a little research and figured out that you have to have at least this edition or the Colossal one to get... The solo mode included, which I think is kind of bunk. I'm going to say that right now. Um, number one, I also saw people online, and it looked like they were kind of duped a little bit by that. Like they had the retailer ver version, and that didn't come with the solo in there. And I know it was a Kickstarter add-on, etc., but I mean, that seems like a pretty big part of a game. To leave that out of some editions and put it in others, I'm going to say that's kind of chintzy. That's my thought on it. I wouldn't do it if that way if I were the one in charge. All right, now, opening this bad boy up. Inside the box here, we just have a standard box um, finish, nothing special. We have the rule book, the how to play. I have not looked at this yet. So my hope is, is that there are plenty of examples showing us what to do and how to do it. And so far, maybe, maybe it's best if I just do it like this so far although there's major glare looks like there's plenty of pictures it looks like we've got some descriptions um i'm not seeing a ton of examples i hope it's not too difficult looks like that when that literally just went through you know what your actions are etc but not necessarily examples of them here we do have some example scoring which is good and then the appendix here with most likely a bunch of information on the cards, the distribution, which is handy and good. And some strategy, strategy suggestions. Okay. At least they give you on the back the actions. They tell you, you know, what to do, how you can do it. Hopefully they're nice and self-explanatory. Then we have the how-to for um, solo isn't solo what in the world okay wait a minute i got two rule books all right i don't know why i got two rule books um maybe it's the same thing what did i just show you did i show you the game no i don't understand all right somehow i got two two rule books in here folks and it looks like the exact same thing so it must have just been an error there's no reason i need two of them but at least it's got this one in there which is the solo. So Hero Bodice, this is what you have to get the Sphinx or the higher edition to get this one. And it is a, looks like a several page, a 12 page book. Tells you about the gameplay, how he does his actions. All right, so it's not, it, it, it looks like there's a lot of content here, but it doesn't look all that ridiculous just looking at it. And David Turtsy does a great job in his solo implementation, so I've got very high hopes for that. And by the way, again, I wouldn't even be buying this game if it wasn't for the solo mode, so that just says something. And that's not because the game's bad, I just don't play anything with folks anymore, it's just usually myself. All right, then we have these player aids, which look pretty good. So you have three reference cards. And then we start the tiles. Now these are definitely medium thick thickness here um so medium heavy or medium large whatever you want to say they're thick and i like that i like the big thickness of them all um so we're going to have no problems with a with a girthy feel to all those 
Then we have the cardboard components, and I think, so these all tell you in the back what they are. Got it upside down here. So you could see like manufactory or um, farm town or city, <clears throat> port, etc. So you've got all those. Same thing over here in different colors. Okay. Then we have our cardboard components here for what looks like all the goods. And then the money. And then the tokens here. These are the trade tokens, I believe. <clears throat> and a whole bunch of goose eggs for flipping them over. Okay, then it looks like armies. So you got a lot of cardboard here, very thick. And I'm going to guess that all of these cardboard components come in the regular retail version. And I think they look really sharp, actually. All right, so setting all those aside for the moment, we then have, whoops, um, the game board itself, game board proper. Now this guy looks pretty big because that box is already big. Let's do this. Let's put this over here, move this to the side so that we can lay this out. All right, it is a single-sided board, but quite large. And looks pretty colorful. It definitely has a mosaic look. It is a mosaic game after all. It says mosaic. And it looks like you've got basically a world map, which is where, well, not a world map, but a Mediterranean map, which is where the action's happening and a bunch of different card layout tableaus. All right. Then we have our individual player boards. These are double thick um, indented boards, but they're not nearly as heavy as those pieces over there so they're much thinner but we've got one two three i'm gonna guess four five and six with all the player colors yes they that's what we have there then we have this board here which is long and i don't know if that's population if it's civilization whatever but that definitely is a county track of some sorts maybe points maybe not don't know now we have the leader cards here all right, so we have a bunch of these. We have the leader as an artist. You've got the engineer, the farmer, the general, the magistrate, merchant, philosopher, priestess, scribe. There we go. So all the artwork looks pretty good there. I like it. Then we have some plastic trays, inserts here. All right keeping the pieces and that's it so my addition uh did not come with any of the plastic components which i'm actually just fine with uh because those tiles were so thick and they were in really good shape as far as illustrations and such they look really good here is our large novelty size first player token some cubes and then four decks of cards all right, let's take a look at the card quality and artwork on these cards. Let's see what we're looking at. Okay, so the Empire scoring cards, I have heard a little bit about them. Well, well, wait a minute. So, by the way, so we've got no, there is a little bit of texture here. And they're actually pretty thick cards. So, I will be sleeving them, but I bet if you don't feel, if you're not a sleever, you won't feel the need. All right, so... Here we go, we have some cool looking artwork. I'm glad, I will say this right now, I'm glad that they put it in color. I know that they, a lot of times they put these ancient looking games in this artwork of Sapia or whatever, it's brownish or, you know, yeah, that might look historically cool, but let's be serious. In those days, it was color, right? It wasn't like the world didn't have color. So I'd rather see the colorful components, the colorful artwork, etc. No need to put it into this old, you know, looking stuff like I took it with an 1800 camera because that has no representation of the real world. That's just me talking, but I really appreciate that they put some artwork on these things. So you can easily see the icons and what they do. And there looks to be a lot of different cards here. And this is all the technology ones. So look at all those. There's a ton of technology here. So that's one of the decks <clears throat> with the scoring card. So I guess the game ends when three of these scoring cards are revealed. 
and that's how it triggers. And I don't know too much more about it besides that. I haven't delved deep into the rules yet. Here we have population cards now. So now it looks like we've got repeating artwork for the most part on these. They all just plus two and I'll hear some plus four population and then another empire scoring. And then we have the tariff and tax cards. Okay. So we have some repeating artwork there, which is fine. I don't really care since they're all the same card, not the end of the world. Okay. And then we have our building deck here. <clears throat> All right, another scoring card, and then you have some farm towns. Okay, lots of farm towns, some manufactory town, cultural cities, another farming city, garrison city, etc. So you got a lot of different things going on here. And then finally, this is, looks like the Hero Bodice deck. So this is going to be our solo mode when we crack it open. All right. <clears throat> so on the back, it's clearly marked what it says. There's two different decks here, the location and action deck. So the action deck is going to tell us, apparently, to build, to do military technology. Uh, so the different actions, there's a reshuffle card in there. And then you've got locations here. So we'll see how to learn how to read all these. Uh, but that's about the size of it. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. There is a score sheet that I didn't really give credence to when I opened it up. But it looks good. I like it. I'm excited to give this a try. Just again, if you want one with the solo components, you got to get the Sphinx Edition or higher. You can't get the retail, just the basic retail. And I do know on the retail, it does say two to six in the back of the box. If you want this one, look for the one to six solo mode included. Okay, folks, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Whatever you decide to play in the future, I hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy, everybody.